one of the properties of correlation coefficients that the correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 and plus 1 or the correlation coefficient r lies between minus 1 and plus 1 or the correlation coefficient r is either greater than or equal to minus 1 or less than is equal to plus 1. Proof. Let the deviations of two variables x and y from their arithmetic mean x bar and y bar are small x and small y respectively or small x is equal to capital X minus capital X bar and small y is equal to capital Y minus capital Y bar. Again, let the standard deviations of x and y are sigma x and sigma y respectively. Now we expand summation x by sigma x that is standard division of x plus minus y by standard division of y whole square equal to summation x square and variance of x that is sigma square x plus y square sigma square y plus minus that is variance of y twice x and y standard division of x standard division of y since variance of x and variance of y and or standard division of x or standard division are constant then after removing this bracket we get summation x square divided by variance of x plus summation y square divided by variance of y plus minus twice summation of x and y divided by standard division of x standard division of y we know that variance of x is equal to summation x square small x square divided by n that is number of observation or n is equal to summation x square by variance of x or summation x square by variance of x is equal to n similarly summation y square by variance of y is equal to n and twice summation xy divided by standard division of x standard division of y is equal to twice n r we know again the correlation coefficient r is equal to summation xy divided by n into standard division of x standard division of y y so that is the Carl Pearson correlation coefficient or summation xy by 
standard division of x standard division of y is equal to n r or twice summation x y x y by standard division of x standard division of y is equal to twice n r so twice summation x y by standard division of x into standard division y is equal to 2n r so this we have found already we have found that the expansion of this term is equal to summation x square by variance of x plus summation y square divided by variable variance of y plus minus twice summation x y divided by standard division of x and standard division of y so that is equal to here we have found that summation x square by standard variance of x is n here we have found this similarly we get summation y square by variance of y is n plus minus and twice summation x y by standard division of x and standard division is found twice n r that is equal to twice n plus minus twice n r and that is equal to twice n 1 plus minus r since square of any real number cannot be negative therefore summation x by standard division of x plus minus y by standard division of y whole square is greater than equal to zero already we have found this is equal to this therefore this is equal to twice n 1 plus minus r greater than equal to 0 or 1 plus minus r greater than equal to 0 either 1 plus r is greater than equal to 0 or 1 minus r greater than equal to 0 so r is equal to so r greater than is equal to minus 1 by taking this plus 1 into this side or 1 greater than equal to r or we can write minus 1 to r or r less than is equal to 1. So from this two term, from these two relation, we get minus 1 less than equal to r less than is equal to 1. So this proves that the correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 and plus 1 or the correlation coefficient r is lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so that is why minus 1 less than is equal to correlation coefficient r less than is equal to plus 1 hence we have proof that the correlation coefficient lies between minus 1 and plus 1 thank you